somebody could change the music coming from that radio. Nothing is impossible for Boomba. I can change that music in a flash. No, don't do that. Why not? Ask your board Steve. Yeah, Boomba, go change the music. Don't listen to them. They'll get you into trouble. There's no trouble you'll get into. You just do it. Yeah. Go Boomba. Go Boomba. Go Boomba. Go Boomba. Go Boomba. Go Boomba. <laughs> idea. Why don't I tell all of you a story? Not you again. Let someone else do that. Like Zawadi, you can tell us a story. Go Zawa, go Zawa, go Zawa, go Zawa, go Zawa, go Zawa, go Zawa. All right. I'll tell you a story on peer pressure. Paukwa. Pakawa. Sahani. Ya chuma. Nagiza je. Ya wizi. Once upon a time, my friends and I were on a field trip to Nyeri. The driver, as usual, was Chuma, and he was driving slowly at the speed of a tortoise. But on this day, Specs brought in an energy drink and gave it to Chuma, who gulped it down and started driving at a supersonic speed. The bus had stopped because Chuma had had a lot of energy drink and was pressed to use the washroom. <laughs> when the bus stopped, Raha, Specs and Zawadi asked for permission to go and relieve themselves. Go ahead, but don't take long, Shameri said. Of course, Boomba didn't need to ask for permission. <laughs> you know why. If you don't, pinch yourself, because that means you're not listening to the story. When they got off the bus, they saw a short, beautiful mango tree with succulent pig mangoes that spoke to them. <gasps> Eat us! Eat us! Enjoy how sweet we are! Who could say no to such an offer? Who could resist the juicy mangoes that were staring at them? The short mango tree was even within touching distance. And as the group joined in and enjoyed the juicy mangoes, Zawadi tried to intervene. She asked what the group was thinking, invading someone else's garden and stealing fruits. The group was fast in defending their actions. We're not stealing. If we don't eat them, the birds will eat them all. Come on, let's eat up. There's so many. Donna will notice if we eat a few. Why is it that you always have to be doing the right thing? Because it's her story, Boomba. Zawadi, ignore him and carry on. So the three did not listen to her. As they sat there, sweater arms folded, enjoying the mangoes, they soon forgot that the farm was not theirs. Just then, the owner of the farm walked in. As he watched them enjoying the mangoes, he got angry. As he continued watching them, he got angrier and angrier. The farmer yelled at them to clear off and leave his mangoes alone. Zawadi wanted them to respect the farmer. But he was so small, no one was worried. Then he threatened to set his dog on them. But still, they were not scared. 
But then they saw the dog and they were in trouble. Boomba tried to use his invisibility to escape, but the farmer threw dust over him and he was no longer invisible. Raha tried screaming, but that just made the dog bark louder. Zawadi had no problem as she ran at a supersonic speed and entered the school bus. As Pex was about to run, he decided to read the dog's mind to find out what it was thinking. But this time, he was beaten at his own game. His spectacles broke and he was stranded. What was Zawadi to do? The dog was going to attack her friends. Quickly, Zawadi attracted the dog's attention and then using her lightning speed, ran far away with the dog in eager pursuit. Soon the dog was exhausted and Zawadi triumphantly returned to the bus. But she was greeted by Teacher Mary and the farmer looming over her. The farmer suddenly seemed bigger. The furious owner wanted to know why the group had stolen his mangoes. Each of the group blamed one another. Zawadi tried to explain that he tried to stop them, but the farmer wouldn't listen. He explained that Zawadi had her own mind and had to make her own decisions. Zawadi accepted her mistake and wanted to know the group's punishment. Teacher Mary smiled. As the group held till the farmer's land, Teacher Mary was happy as she enjoyed the succulent mangoes. She seemed to understand why her pupils attempted to steal the mangoes. But that did not stop the pupils from doing the punishment. They tilled the land and after they finished, the landowner rewarded them with mangoes to take home to their families. Exhausted and filthy, Zawadi had learnt an important lesson. That is the end of my story. Peer pressure is a bad thing. You should always stand for what you believe in, otherwise you'll always end up in trouble in life. That was a good story.